Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the TL431 shunt regulator design by using LTS Spice. So I will run the simulation and I will show you the output voltage that is 3V3 and the output current that is 100 milliampere. So if your load is higher, let's say let's say for 100 milliampere application you can use series pass transistor that is this is the series element this is the series pass transistor so your source current will be directly flow through this transistor will be directly flow through this transistor and so that you can have you can have the maximum load current okay you can have the maximum load current so in this application since our transistor is bc 547 b so the collector current that is ic for bc 547 b is maximum is 100 milliampere so with this configuration and design we can draw maximum 100 milliampere load current okay so in the many application if the if the load current at 3v3 is limited that is around 100 milliampere you can use this circuit right you can use this circuit so this is the supply source supply that is 5 volt dc let's say and we want to convert it into a 3v3 so this is the 3v3 output and here here i have connected a load of uh, let's say 100 milliampere i want to draw the current at load is 100 milliampere so i will change the load value this r5 value and i will show you the output voltage and the output current so this is the biasing resistance for tl431 that is r2 that is 18r and this is the tl431 this is the uh, this R3 and R4 gives you the output voltage that is 3V3. The value of R3 and R4 is selected in a such way that the output voltage is 3V3. Okay. So, and one more another thing for TL431, the here I have included the library and the model for the simulation purpose. Okay. So, at the end, I will upload this file into a google drive and i will share the link in the description so you can directly download this file and you can do your own practice so hope you understand the circuit flow this is input and this is output this is series pass series pass element that is a transistor bc547b this is a current limiting resistance for tl431 this is biasing resistance and this is load now i will run the transient analysis and i will show you the the output voltage the output current for this configuration right so let me if you want to give the transient command you have to go simulate then edit simulation command here you have transient setting you can see so uh, for me it is stop time is 10 second and time to start saving data is 1 millisecond so this is okay and i have checked here skip initial operating point solution and now it is okay now i have to go here this is run button i will run the uh, simulation now i will go at window trial window vertically i'll zoom it for proper visibility as you can see here right as you can see here here we have will have two window one for output voltage this is output voltage which shows is 3.283 and this is for output current right this is for output current so you can see at the moment your output voltage is 3.28 and your output current is 32.8 milliampere now let me reduce the value to 50 ohm okay so this is the 50 ohm now i will run again the simulation here and let me show you the the output voltage that is stable that is 3.28 volt and this current now increases and it becomes around 65.5 milliampere let me reduce the further value let's say let's say this is 35 ohm 
so i will run the simulation again here and here you can see your your, your output current is 93.8 milliampere and your output voltage is still stable right your output voltage is stable that is 3.28 volt and your output current is now 93.8 milliampere let's say you have different different uh, different different load at 3v3 and your current consumption is around current consumption is around 100 milliampere you can directly use this circuit this is very low cost effective solution which is having a series pass element that is transistor and one tl431 and some biasing biasing register okay so hope you understand the simulation for tl431 for for the load higher than 15 milliampere okay if you have any question feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video